Hello everybody, Lego Boy Lisa here. Um, today I'm going to be uh, doing a mod. I'm not really showing you how to do it, but I will explain it. So this is a cube that I'm going to be modding. It is a Shang Shao 3x3. I got it for like $5 on Amazon. It's actually a pretty nice cube. If you saw my floppy cube, floppy cube uh, unboxing, then you saw it, uh, you also got this one with it. And yeah, it's actually pretty decent. As Okay, corner cutting, kind of average. Backwards corner cutting, it's what you expect. Not very much, but that's, uh, we won't need any of that for what I'm doing it with it. So, but what the mod I'm going to be doing with it is kind of like a mix-up cube, but it's kind of like a mix-up plus a regular recipe. I'm pretty sure uh, Johanna Rubik did this too. Um, so, how you do the mod is you just turn it 45 degrees like this. And then you just cut off all four of these corners, and then glue them on back for uh, where this gap is. So then it will be completely cubed, but it will be like this. And so uh, when you uh, do this, it will be uh, it will look like this. The shape of it will be like this, but then you'll be able to turn it. So basically, it'll be like this, and you'll be able to turn it. So, uh, but. So it's like a mix-up cube like that, but then you can't do like this, and also you couldn't do it on other sides. So I hope that makes sense. If it didn't, then I guess you'll see what it's like afterwards. But anyway, I'm going to definitely do a little time lapse of me cutting off all the pieces and measuring and marking and stuff. And so I'll see you soon. I hope it turns out. This is basically what I was doing. I had the little piece in the miter box being clamped on, and then I had the saw on the 45 degree angle, and I was I had it up against the wall of the miter box, and I was just cutting it in half across the line that I had earlier marked. Okay, I'm back, and I have cut off all these pieces. You just saw one little clip of it. I was just showing you what I was doing, basically. I had a lot of troubles doing this, and I had to do many different methods of cutting these these in half. So eventually I got it. And so because of the caps on the pieces, I have two separate pieces. So right now I'm going to super glue those on. Okay, <clears throat> I'm back and I super glued all those pieces to each other. And I guess the next step would be to sign down these all a little bit. Just so to make the plastic a bit rough. And also, I'm going to be filling these in with some type of epoxy stuff. And so, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here I put it together. And you can see if I turn these layers like this, this is what it's going to be like. These are going to be like the centers. And then these parts are going to be extended out like this, and it will be just like a regular cube. Uh, but you can see there's a lot of imperfections, like right here, I cut it sideways, and now I have to fill that up with some sculpt stuff, and yeah, I'm just going to sand down the right amount of it on every side, and fill it up with the sculpt, so I'll see you when I have that done. Okay, I'm back and I filled these pieces and I put them back in just to see how they fit. And if you see on here, it's not completely level. And I didn't fill the whole thing around because I thought that this would be enough. But I think I'm going to actually mix up some more filler and then just fill it all the way around those uh, places. I didn't decide because I knew it was sticking. Uh, it wasn't sticking up far enough. But I think I'm just going to put a little bit more on all around all the edges and I'll wait for that to dry and then get back to you. Okay, this is now hardened. So I'm going to start sanding this down a bit. There we go. And then once we do that, I'm going to make sure everything fits. And we're going to spray paint it black. So we'll probably do that last. And then once I get my cube myth order, I can put some stickers on it. So yeah, 
it's getting a bit smoother, but it'll still take a bit more. Okay, I am back and I have gotten all these pieces to look like this. So what I did is I, I actually stopped using this sandpaper because it was way too uh, fine. And I got some of this rough stuff, really high grit, or low grit I guess it would be. Yeah. <coughs> and so I sanded that down so it was pretty smooth. And then I uh, used my Dremel to smooth down, just uh, like make it smoother. Because if you're using really high, uh, low grit sandpaper, it'll be really rough. And then I kind of use this tip to kind of sand down around the sides and get off any extra little bits of the filler. And then I went outside and painted it black. And here we, uh, that's what the piece is like now. So if I put all these pieces into the cube, it looks like this. Here. And so what it's going to be is... We're going to have it like this, which will be the salt position, and we'll have all the pieces on here, like this piece will be right here. So what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to, see this piece is way too wide to fit on here, so I'm going to sand this down a lot, and then I'll glue it onto this piece, and we'll be basically done at that point. So I will see you then. Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, I put these pieces in. And I actually put the sticker on from the uh, center caps because I don't have any stickers to use for now. But when I get my cute pen order, I'll probably cut some more for there so it'll be big enough. But anyway, I uh, sanded, dremeled it down a lot. So all this plastic stuff is from uh, all the cutoff things because I think I cut it off to far down, so I had to fill this up a bunch and sand that the other part down a bunch. And so yeah, I then glued them all to the cap, super glued, and we'll see if this, these fit. I have all four of them over here. Uh, I guess we'll put that in there. Yep, it does kind of not go, goes in a bit too far, but that's just because I guess I just sanded a bit too much, but, oh yeah, and because of the, just the shape of it, but, anyway, it'll work. And then, just put all these in, oh, that one's kind of, there we go, there, there, and there, so it looks kind of like a normal Rubik's Cube, so what happened? And so you'd expect to just be able to turn it, but you can't turn it. And so you actually you have to do this and this. There we go. And then we can turn it. Wow, that looks really cool. So I'm going to so try and solve it real quick and just see how hard it is to do it. Okay. And go. Oh, wow. And there we have it. So now that I think about it, um, I think there would be actually a parity for this cube because uh, if we can switch around one of these edge pieces. Yeah, this is actually an edge. And yeah, I'm going to see if I can get it to have parity. Yep, here we go. So we have the little side done. I don't know why I did that. But and then we have the whole middle layer. But then. When we try and do the white cross on the top, uh, this piece needs to be flipped. So, simple solution to do that is you can just do a little algorithm to uh, flip that piece around. In this case, I'm just doing it like F2L. And that will be flipped, and then you'll have a possible case. And you can continue solving it. But, yeah, this is a pretty fun cube. Um, definitely took a lot longer than I thought it would to make. I thought this would just be a quick, like, hour project, but it probably took, like, three hours. Just because, uh, especially the first cutting of it, and 
then we had to do all the filling and dremeling and all that stuff. But if you have some time, I really recommend to do this because it's a really cool pr uh, project and I guess you know get some cool reactions from your friends. So yeah, that's basically it. Bye.